everybody. We just about, we just set this up. We just got back from the well. Well, we just welded these forks on here and the forks on there of one side of the other. Four, four forks, two is one section. But now we got to put the loop on here. Um, yeah, did we bring the loops? Yeah. You have the loops? Oh, okay, good. Because <laughs> I saw them and, and I was playing with them, but then I thought, wait a minute, I didn't bring them. <laughs> So this one, we're going to put a loop on there and that forks, that tip there will drop down inside of here. Yeah, so this is basically what we're doing here. We're putting that loop on there. So anyway, like that, something like that. So that that fits there. Work. I was wondering, and I'm going to get off the video right now because i got to climb up there and examine some things. So we'll be back with more from my paradise home in Tiny Island. Bye for now. On the other side here, on the other side, putting up some tacks. We're just doing I like a tack weld. We'll TIG weld it after we get it back to the shop. We'll take all this stuff down after the tarpaulin's made and uh, and, and and then finish all the weld. We got a lot of weld. See, like the bottom holes here, we need to fill those bo there, those bottom holes where this box is open. We need to fill those. Close all those. And a lot of, a lot of little finishing work here. Well, I think, I think we're pretty good to go here. So as you can see, that long thing there drops down inside of that loop, kind of like a hole, and that latches it there. Nothing is permanent on here. Everything comes off. That whole piece comes off. These rafters just lift up. Everything lifts up and comes off. At the intersection there where those things cross, I'm going to put a couple of tie wraps across there just to keep the pipe from popping out. You're hitting waves and things are swinging and stuff, so we want to uh, uh, just make sure things stay where they're supposed to stay and they don't pop out. I'm not worried too much about the front trying to pop out or the back because it's got a three inch rise there that has to go all the way up three inches but we'll see well if so we'll not tie wrap that thing too. Ready, okay, sir? yep now for the back yeah all right we're going to the back so we'll be back with more I'm going to the back everybody we're at the back now ground the ground oh the power's no, off no power no there we go welder was turned off Normally he TIG welds, but if you TIG weld, you have to have your argon gas, and we got a giant cylinder that's bigger than me that we'd have to carry, so it's easier to just come out here and do the stick weld. Can you can you put that tip up higher? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 that's the same thing. That's where it's thick. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, 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 you're, uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. You're the welder. <laughs> I'm just the cameraman. Yeah. So he's welding to the edge there because that's where the, the corner is where you have the most metal mass where you get the most strength. On the sides, it's just a thin wall. Not that thin, but as a, as a box, it's pretty strong. But as just a single wall, it's not that strong. So you can see how that hooks in there. There, that just drops in. I'm shaking a little bit because I'm only using one hand and I'm zoomed in so that magnifies all of the shakiness but I'll use image stabilization once I put this on YouTube uh, the software I have uh, has that yeah, ability yeah. <laughs> is now getting done you have a good touch with that boulder I've got to stick Welder at my house, but I'm just not good at all with the stick welding. Maybe someday I'll get good, but not <laughs> not right now. I'm gonna t t practice making uh, some barbecue grills for my brother, a barbecue grill for my brother-in-law. So I'll get some practice on stainless.
and see if I can. And that's just a bunch of tack welds. It's not heavy welding like a long line or no, nothing. Although long lines, I think, are easier than tack weld than doing short little runs. Because in a long weld, you can kind of get in the flow. Yes. So he's putting that on there. And again, as you see, how this roof line goes to the front, all the way up there, where we, right in the center of the screen, that's where we will be able to loop right there. So we're we'll zoomed in quite a bit. So now we're, we're tacked. We're tacked and good to go. Now what I do is I can uh, uh, lay the tarpaulin across here, because I've, I've got just a big rectangular piece, and then I lay it out, pull it tight, and then I mark it like right here and right here where I'm going to put holes and loops and little clips and stuff. And you'll see that when I start doing that. Pretty rigid, pretty tight. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and tight. He tried to shake it and it really didn't go nowhere. So we are good to go. So I'm going to, I think we're done for the day with this stuff. And tomorrow, like I said, I'll get the tarpaulin out and we'll uh, mess around with it if it doesn't rain. Again, this is rainy season. It's been raining like this whenever it feels like it, like pretty much. And the forecast is always wrong. It says it's going to rain. It does. It says it's not going to rain. It does. So you, you can't rely on nothing here except look up at the sky and hope. <laughs> so we will be back with more from My Paradise on Italian Island. We got that bad boy in one piece now. Bye for now. These are the rafters. Let me see if I can get back. Give you kind of a little... Have a big shot of that. I don't know. Does that help? I don't know if that helps or not. But anyway, you see how it inter interconnects there, how it hooks on there. And it's the same connection on the front and on both sides here. So the tarpaulin, see that? That hooks right into the saddle, basically, of that piece. And uh, then it hooks in here, hooks in there. Everything here slides into tubes. The front and the rear bolts on. We got four bolts on each one of these. And I may go to bigger bolts. I don't know. I definitely need bigger washers on the underside of here. Because if you start tweaking this, which it's solid as a rock. I mean, I'm just trying to shake it with all my might and it ain't shaking. The boat is, but the, this, this thing ain't. But still, I may get a little bit bigger bolt or bigger washers. Or use some stainless plate and drill a hole and have a big, like a square plate washer underneath here because if, if you do push this what gives is the washer underneath here that's tiny big as my fingernail right here this one uh, it'll just start crushing into the wood because there's not enough surface area to distribute that load and it'll just crush up through just like if you took a wrench and you kept tightening this it just pull that nut and wash it right up through the wood and crush it it is mahogany but still you you know the screw's got a lot of a lot of pressure, a lot of power. So we will be back. It's been raining. My tarpaulin, because I can't cover this, because this is in here. I can't cover the thing, so we're loading up with water everywhere. It's just, I don't know, we're making a mess. But it's a boat, and it's got drain holes. I showed you that before. It's got drain holes. See right there? This is, this, this is the drain hole, and as you can see, it's been draining. As water gets in, water gets out. Here, let me fix that. There we go. Fix that one. Took care of that one. But these ones over here, I don't know. I'm just going to pretend that they're not a problem. So we will be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island. Yeehaw. Like I said, we'll take all this stuff off. Take all everything back after I've got the tarpaulin all marked. And he'll finish all the wet welding and bust these things out and take that. And yeehaw. We'll be good to go. Bye for now. We got our little loops welded in to that's the crest bar for the tarpaulin bye for now hey everybody kind of got a front view you gotta watch out for the bamboo and stuff but yeah we basically welded that little loop on there you see where that clips in drops in so that attached to the front and then it's got forks that go on this thing here and that thing there and back there one more loop so that makes the crest and then over here this this one here you see the two sides there they fork down on a little bar that crosses between those two openings there and then we got the rafters and so the tarpaulin will come from here 
We're going to lay on there and then go up over the roof, down, and then lay out there. And then we're going to have holes in the tarpaulin. They're all reinforced. Uh, they're not the metal ones. They're the the melted ones. They reinforce those. And then they got rope around the edge, too. So, But I'm going to take those little uh, carabine spinners and just loop through the hole. And then I'll weld another uh, one of those little stainless steel loops on right there. I'll weld another one of those like that. And that's what I'll clip the carabine or two on this point, that overhang, that one, the back ones, the front ones here, all around. So it, that's how the tarpaulin will be clipped on. And then it comes off easy and goes on. It's just clips. There's no ropes or nothing like that. So we will be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island. Bye for now. There's the rafters. I can't get back enough because we got that wall behind me to get the whole well there we go we got it bye for now well we gotta get the top bye for now everybody guess what day it is well it looks like it's tarpaulin day and we got the frames up you can see them there that's the rafters there's another one back there you can see it behind that and we got this here pulled over i gotta pull that over some more it's got to reach to there we got the front up to here I got to put a clamp on there and hold that there I'm gonna to have to actually move some of the tarpaulin this way because I got to reach over to here over to this and over to that so I have to pull some more and then we got to stretch the back out here and pull it over to the same as the front pull it over to where that little downturn is at the back there so that's what we're doing I was gonna wear my head cam and do this but I can't see up because my head cam's got a bill on on the front and I can't see up and that's where I need to look is above my head and the head cam would be dragging in all the tarpaulin so no head cam today or no head cam right now so we are going to continue to wrestle this this thing this tarpaulin weighs about as much as a five gallon water bottle does so I mean you have the whole thing to wrestle it's heavy but if you can just get the corners and stuff like that and the edges and pull them it's not near as bad, but still, it's a little bit of a work, so work out. So we're going to do that, and we'll be back with more. It is tarpaulin day, boys and girls. We're just marking the tarpaulin now. It's not cut to proper size. There's no holes. There's no edges. There's no ropes. There's nothing like that. It's just a flat, rectangular piece of tarpaulin. So we will be back with more from my paradise on Battalion Island. Here, let's get a side view of everything. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> it will. Promise you. Everybody. Bye for now. Phase one of tarpaulin installation. We've got all the corners clamped down, as you may see. See right here? And we put a little piece of cardboard there so we don't pinch a hole in that thing with the clamp. We got the ends clamped. And now what we got to do is see, it's still not tight and everything, but that's okay because what we got to do now is... Uh, uh, snug it up We snug it all up Let's see we got These little handy clamps are better than the C clamps because you don't have to screw it You just squeeze it a few times and boom it's pinched and it's locked in and they're rubber so they're soft They don't damage anything. So you basically get the gist of it. Of course all that'll be trimmed off That'll be trimmed off This will be trimmed off This will be trimmed off and see, I got to pull that one. See that one there? That's the uh, adjustment phase that we're going to do now. We're going to unclamp that, pull this super tight. The back, we think we got pretty straight. There's a couple of seams. You see that seam there? What we're doing, we're making sure that seam from there to there is the same distance as the same seam from there to there. And then we know it's square on here. So uh, anyway, we got to snug all that up and get that good to go. And it's hot. The sun's out. Of all the days, it's been cloudy every day, raining, flooding e e even. And uh, today, when we decide to get up here, which we're under here now, so way better under here, way better <laughs> under a tarpaulin than it is out in the sun. So let's get back, see if we can get a kind of a view, <coughs> like a broadside or an in view of this thing. Eh, can't really see. It'll look better once it's all, of course, fitted and finished and clipped on. And again, we're using these little uh, carabiners. 
not this particular one. This is aluminum and it's cheap, but I've ordered some stainless steel ones. And we're going to loop this in here through the tarpaulin loop. And then we're going to clip this in here onto these little uh, circular loops here that we weld on to each of the corners here. And that'll keep it on there. So, okay, you can't really tell. But I can tell. I'm good enough. Then we'll get it all tight. And then we gotta get a little felt tip pin and start marking where the holes go. Where the, cause see a hole goes here. And then the clip goes welded to this stainless steel part. And then that carabine meaner loops through the tarpaulin and pulls down on there. On the edge of the tarpaulin, the way they make these things, it's really nice. What they do, they put a piece of rope like my finger in here and then they weld it like that with a piece of rope all the way around this thing it's a continuous piece of rope and it's welded it's not that big of a rope it's about a three or four millimeter rope bigger than that bigger than this maybe a size and a half or two sizes larger than this all the way around so that kind of gives it a little rip uh protection there so anyway i'm gonna get back in the shade which i am now there's a the bumblebee or black bee or whatever kind of bee it is he's going in the bamboo maybe and we will be back with more snugging it up we got to snug that one first so we'll do that and we'll be back bye for now snug it up all right we got pretty close to the final tightness all the way around here and of course you know this is raw this is not cut it's just we're just moving it so on the outside we go up on the outside and draw little holes where the holes in the tarpaulin go and then little line from there over pointing it this way and that's how they make their their edge line here and likewise with all this other stuff so uh, anyway this is pretty much the roof with the rafters and everything and it's very cool under here much much you can see out of the sun you, you'll cook you'll fry out there it's nothing but sunshine blue skies Beautiful day, but not, you don't want to be uh, out there uh, in the sun <laughs> on a boat in the middle of the ocean where there ain't no trees. So, anyway, this is it. I gotta walk out here. I'm gonna get in the sun for you guys, for the subscribers. See everybody over there, they hang out in the shade. Here we go so on the sides. But anyway, right here. See how it kind of lays on this angle and then it flattens out and goes across here and then rolls over. That's why I rolled everything so there's no sharp points to poke through the edge of through the tarpaulin. So here's all the interior from here, right here, good to go, all the way to there. And we're going to leave this up here today and come back tomorrow and just see if it uh, stretches in the sun or what the sun does to it because like I made all these lines tight and look at them they're all loose now just banjo un, not not banjo loose they were banjo tight but they got a little bit of ten tension but the sun heats these things up and then they start slacking and stretching and stuff and they may stretch and control con contract at night and stuff but anyway you see it there it is boys and girls we got tarpaulin so we are going to go get something to eat and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island tarpaulin baby bye hey everybody now. it's like uh, this of course tarpaulin day looks like somebody's making up a, a bed and the sheets are too big right yes it does <laughs> and they are because they we gave them measurements of the diamond shape but they said it's best if we or i somehow we got came to the conclusion that it's better they give us a big rectangle piece way lay, lay it out and then mark it so up there i've got to mark some holes for the eyelets and over here at, at each one of these contact points i have to mark holes uh, for eyelets see like right there where that that's a that that's a tie down point there and that's a tie down point there everywhere and at the end of this stainless steel here this one you can't see under there that's a tie down point the front point is a tie down and the same on that side there 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 in the back the same thing at the very back those are all tie downs i may try to see if they can make a little like a little velcro piece to go across here and then i can put a velcro strap under here and under here under where that rafter is 
and that'll keep the top from flapping so much. Let's see if I can do that. I don't know if they can do that or not, but we'll see. And I don't really want them to be sewing because sewing puts holes and holes is tear points. So I'd rather them weld it. See these seams here? These are lap seams, so they're overlapping one on top of the other welded. They've got, uh, they weld the stuff with heat. So anyway, we are gonna go and tomorrow we're gonna uh, we're gonna mark ev everything. I'm just letting it see if during the heat of the day this thing uh, this thing uh, stretches out and starts to sagging. It's a little bit sag there, but that's my fault. This one here is not a sag, but there's not as much overhang here. But that'll be cut and everything will be cut and edged with a, uh, you'll see how they edge, edge. They really do a nice job at this uh, Mandawi canvas place that we're having to work done at. So we will be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island. It's sparkling time. Bye for now.